And we're back with Pop Culture Cosmos. My name is Gerald Glass from Pop Culture Cosmos and Game Source. We are along with Janeman Nordhagen. All right, I broke down and I got it for you. And he's here to show us to showcase the game right here at E3 2017 Indiecade, right for When Water Tastes Like Wine. Is that correct? Where the water tastes like wine. There, where the water tastes like wine. So tell us first off, you were saying about took about three years to create the game. Tell us a little bit more about your work into it and the game itself. Sure, so uh, this is a narrative game. It's about traveling and telling stories in a sort of depression era United States. Um, so it's all about folklore and spreading, spreading tales and songs around the country. Uh, there are 16 different characters that you can meet as you wander around and share stories with. Uh, each of these characters is written by a different person. So this game is kind of like a collection of short stories in video game form. And uh, I'm sort of the, I don't know, the, the creative director as well as programmer uh, of, of the game. Um, the driving force behind it, I guess you'd say. And, and as far as, as if, 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 would people treat it as far as an adventure game? Or what, what kind of games can they really relate this to as far as when they're actually playing through it? Right, it's, it's difficult to tie it to a particular genre, but we do have a kind of 3D overworld that you wander through where you meet these people and you have little adventures. In some ways it's like an RPG, uh, but with more of a narrative spin to it. Um, All right. The game looks beautiful. Thank you. Josh, you want to get some shots? The, the game itself, just, I'll tell you what, it's so expensive. The art style is what I'm doing here. Of, of particulars, what are you looking as far as for where the water, uh, as far as where, where it comes out, when it comes out, and what's, what's the particulars on that? Right, so we don't have a release date yet or a price, but it'll be out on Steam, um, and then later it'll be on PlayStation and Xbox. Oh, sweet. Um, and to find out more information about it right now, you can go to wherethewatertasteslikewine.com. Okay, so that's wherethewatertastelikewine.com. Okay, that's great, right. great, great indeed. And then uh, as far as, are you looking as far as what time when somebody sits down and plays? Is it, how long do you think as far as maybe uh, it would be a nice involving game? Is it going to be something a long term, maybe a shorter game? What, as far as, what are you looking at for as far as when some regular consumers sit down to play? What kind of experience would they be looking at? It obviously depends on how deeply you dig into the stories and how thoroughly you want to uncover all the, the tales that the characters have to tell you. We think it's going to be about a five to ten hour experience for most people. Okay, that's awesome. That's it. For me and for Josh, who has, does not have all the time in the world to play games, this is something that could really hit a sweet spot for us because we want to get involved and invested into a great narrative, but we don't, like, like we said, we don't have all the time to do so indeed. So I that's, know exactly how you feel. That's, yep. uh, that's great indeed. Well, I'll tell you what, Yanaman, I'll tell you what, it's been a great pleasure having you on the Pop Culture Cosmos. Uh, and that's, again, where the water turns into wine. Where the water tastes like wine. Ah! It's, it's a complicated name, don't worry about it. Where the water tastes like, where the water tastes like wine. I'll get it right one of these days. Where the water tastes like wine. It's going to be available on Steam coming soon. Is it any type of early access or anything? No, nope, no, we're just going to release and that'll be it. Once games. it goes in the wild, that's it. Yep, exactly. All right, now that's even better. There you go, the old, traditional, old school way, where there's not like right. five years of early access. There you go, indeed. Well, I wish you all the best with the game. It's going to be tremendous. I'm definitely looking forward to it. And then, like said, let us know if you want to come back on Pop Culture Cosmos on, on YouTube and also on our radio state, on our radio shows that are done twice each week to a vast audience. Let us know. We're more than happy to have you on to talk more about the game itself. Great. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. Appreciate it. That uh, to us people that can feel things, it it uh, it hurts.